Howdy folks, welcome back. Today we are on the range again with the Freedom Arms Model 83 field grade stainless 10 inch barrel with the silly scope up top. And we're gonna be shooting a 230 grain round nose uh, ball projectile, much like 45 ACP. We're using a nice mild charge of 700X. There's a nice look at our ammunition. Again, 230 grain ball right on top there and you can see where it's been seated with a pretty light charge of 700X, so let's get going. Very nice. I was holding pretty much at the bottom of the plate there, hitting in the center. I wasn't sure where we were zeroed, but all the stuff I've been using has been hitting high at this distance. So that was pretty cool. Let's get loaded up again. Let's see if we can't hit another five out of five. Stay tuned. And boy, howdy, are these cases dirty. I bet if we gave it another half grain of powder or so, it would uh, seal that right up and be uh, way cleaner. But 700X does tend to do that if at the lower end of the charges. Okay, we'll try this again. See if I can't get another five. This sucker is heavy as heck and it, you know, after uh, like two shots, I need a break, man. It's like holding a 10 pound weight out in front of you for two minutes. I mean, not two minutes, but you know, as long as string of fire goes on, the sucker does not get any lighter. Flinch. Well, four out of five, that's not too bad. I gotta do something about this stump here. It's really starting to trip me up. Anyways, let's go take a look at our target, see how hard those 230 grained uh, projectiles actually hit our steel. Okay, well, obviously that's not a great group as far as let's measure the group, but I feel like if that was a soft target, it would have done as it should have. Uh, we hit the bolt there, that seems to still be intact. Had a glancing blow. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Somehow we have eleven, or maybe that one was already up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. These definitely aren't leaving a big divot like the uh, 300 and uh, what were they? 335 grainers. You can see here, here couple big punches from those really heavy guys but this is just 45 Colt not 454 Casil but that was just offhand seeing if we can hit the steel plate hanging out at the range thanks for tuning in guys and we'll see you in the next video have a good one